Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about Blue Demon's ER316 electrode, some safety concerns, then have a short demonstration of the product. The AWS classification for this filler metal is ER316 316L. One of the first questions you may have about this product, what do the letters and numbers mean? Filler metals are manufactured into different forms and classified into different categories. In our case, the classification is ER, which stands for electrode or rod. Other classifications could include E for electrode, R for rod, or B for brazing, just to name a few. Electrode simply means the filler metal carries the welding current in the process. Adversely, a rod would not carry any current and is heated by another source. Next, we take the first three numbers, which in our case is 316. This designates the American iron and steel type of stainless steel used in the electrode. Next, you'll notice the slash thin 316L. This simply means this electrode can be used as ER316 as well as ER316L, where the L stands for low carbon. 316 stainless steels are used in high temperature weldments where high strength and minimal deformation are critical requirements. ER316 is used in a wide array of applications. Some of the common uses are tubing, chemical equipment, filters, tanks, and furnace parts. Since ER316 is manufactured into two forms, there are multiple welding processes available to us to use with this product. We can use the rod form in the GTAW process, better known as TIG welding, or we can use the electrode form in the GMAW process, also known as MIG welding. Available electrode sizes include 035, 045, and 1 16th wire. Available rod sizes include 1 16th, 3 32nd, and 1 8th. There are a few options for shielding gas when using ER316. The shielding gas you use will depend on the process and machine settings you've selected. I would consult the Blue Demon website for assistance in making your selection. Check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using ER316. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few, you should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket, or long sleeve shirt. I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads. Thanks for hanging in there with me. So we've got some E316 rod and I've got some wire uh, already loaded into the machine. I've got a couple of these um, uh, 316 coupons already tack welded together. I'm going to throw them up on, on the uh, bench here, and that's going to be our demonstration. So let's get to it.
All right, so I'm decently satisfied with that. Uh, pretty consistent all the way across. Um, my dabs were, I'm, I'm actually really good with that uh, affected zone, heat affected zone wasn't too, too big. Um, tried to use as least amount of amps as I could and um, that, uh, that looks really good. Really happy with that. So this is a little better. I still think I was getting a little bit of a cold lap over here, how it kind of stutters at the start when you're on short circuit. But uh, color looks decent till we get down to the end and I, I've had a hard time getting rid of that on the end. Uh, my machine, um, it doesn't have an, a post flow, so uh, post flow would take care of this little gray dot. So. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.